Steven Sorgrath said that we're actually in a very special time in the, the whole evolution of mankind and science technology. So we're in a special window where we can actually understand the things around us. If we start turning over aviation to robots, what does that mean for us as individuals? What does it mean for mankind if all of a sudden our cars and our planes and our trains, like they are in Europe, are highly automated? So I think we're, it's not just aviation that's on this cusp. I think it's many, many sectors of the transportation industry. And I think it's causing a lot of people heartache because it's redefining who they are and what they're capable of doing. How many of you have learned something from YouTube? You might not have had a grandmother to explain to you. It's like, oh, this is convenient and easier than asking my grandmother or someone else. We do it all the time. It actually makes our lives better. Okay, it's not, it's not the, no that's, different. That's, no, but see, I think you're making an argument that it's superior to some of the other ways, and that's where I would, I would say. I, I do think it's superior, which is why we chose to use YouTube that moment we chose YouTube instead of some other means that was still available to us. Couldn't it just be that it was easier and convenient and right in front of us, and we didn't have to get our butts that's off the chair I mean and walk superior. downstairs? And that's what I mean by <laughs> superior.